Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, May 14th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. We are the second day into Network Upfront Presentation Week, which is always a crazy week. And shortly after I did yesterday's video cast, I headed over to Radio City Music Hall for NBC's presentation. I have to tell you, they did a very good job, and there is momentum at NBC. I heard a lot of positive things, and if I had to pick one new show that I think probably got the best response. It is sitcom The Michael J. Fox Show. Personally, I love the fact that NBC has three new comedies on Thursday. I love the fact that I got rid of a lot of the low-rated stuff. I'm not thrilled with Parks and Recreation leading off Thursday. It's a weak show, but it's facing the Big Bang Theory. You need to put something there, but NBC needs to be patient. They need to do a lot of promotion, and if one or two of these sitcoms can generate interest, NBC is on its way. Way. And of course, The Voice is the hot singing competition. There are some interesting looking dramas coming up on NBC. Overall, it looks good. NBC, it has momentum. Now, yesterday, Fox unveiled its schedule and it presented in the afternoon at the Beacon Theater, which is where it does it every year. If you go to our website, um, there is a complete listing of Fox's schedule. I also have a link for you on today's newsletter. Overall, my personal opinion is Fox is too lazy. It's not aggressive enough. The schedule's quiet. Fox needed to really pull some punches, and it really did not. The problem with the lineup is it's sticking with the same patterns as last fall, with the exception of Friday, which in late fall, it will air two sitcoms from 9 to 10 p.m., but I think they needed to take more risk. They didn't, and you have to keep in mind that the X Factor is not a hot singing competition, and returning American Idol no longer can ignite the entire network. Overall, the network will open up in the fall with four new series. They are drama, Sleepy Hollow, Sitcoms Dads, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and a new reality competition from Gordon Ramsay called Junior MasterChef. Later in the fall, there will be another drama called Almost Human, and a new sitcom on Friday evening called Enlisted Out of Raising Hope. So, Fox, not aggressive enough. I don't think the schedule looks all that good. Kevin Riley, who is the Fox Entertainment president, admitted they didn't have a good season. I don't see that changing next season, unless for some reason... The X Factor suddenly takes off and American Idol is a hot show again, and I don't think it will be. So again, go to our website for the schedule on Fox for next season. ABC will be unveiling this afternoon. They will be having a press conference at noon, which I will be calling in for. I will put the schedule up on the website as soon as I get it. Now, in sad news, I must report on the passing of Dr. Joyce Brothers. She was the beloved psychologist who was all over television. She was 85 years old, passed away on Monday. If you go to our newsletter and website, I have a listing of all the different TV appearances she did. She guest starred on a ton of shows as herself. She guest starred as characters. She appeared on a lot of talk shows. She did game shows, and she was very well liked and very well respected. Rest in peace, Dr. Joyce Brothers. Barbara Walters officially announced her retirement. I don't know if I would have officially announced it during Upfront Week. Everybody's so crazed. But after 37 years at ABC, Barbara Walters will be stepping down next summer. But am I the only one who doesn't think that Barbara Walters will exactly retire? I have a feeling she'll be back. But she is saying she will officially step down next summer. Now, coming up on ABC on May 28th is the third season of her summer staple that has changed its title. Remember Extreme Makeover Home Edition? It is now just called Extreme Weight Loss over at HBO. James Gandolfini is returning. No, he is not playing some Tony Soprano, but he will be appearing in a new version of a BBC drama called Criminal Justice as an Attorney. How do you like that? Tony Soprano, an attorney. Um, seven episodes have been ordered. HBO initially had passed on it, changed its mind, and it will now air as a limited series. And coming up on the air tonight is the season premiere of So You Think You Can Dance on Fox. Whenever you see that show back, you know it is the summer. Now, before I sign off for the day, let me bring on my co-host, who is very anxiously sitting here, actually kind of sleeping. Let me bring him on. Here's my co-host, Buster Berman, 
who watches a lot of TV with me. So we are excited about the new fall schedules, particularly NBC, not Fox. And we want to both wish you a great day. And I'll be back with more news about my favorite idiom, television, tomorrow. Signing off, Mark and Buster Berman.